can you introduce yourself and your company please? I'm Johnny Rankin from Engina Limited. Uh, we're based in Suffolk, our principal office is in Suffolk between uh, Cambridge and Ipswich. Uh, we've also got a Scottish office um, uh, up in Edinburgh, so we cover the, the whole country, uh, we're countrywide, and uh, we've got a core team of uh, five project managers with support staff. Okay, and can you describe the services that you offer and how they're relevant to the renewable sector? Yeah, our, our bread and butter, our core work is uh, environmental impact assessment and preparation of planning applications, um, subsequently as, as required also um, going to appeals. Um, where we have uh, a client who doesn't have a UK development arm, we can also act as a sort of developer's developer on their behalf. Um, my two directors, uh, John Ian, John and Ian, so uh, Ian Booker and John Fairley are from a development background, so they can apply that experience and then we can also use our, our planning expertise as well. Yeah, and are you are you mainly your clients in the UK or do you operate overseas also? We don't operate overseas, we're solely based um, uh, within the UK. Uh, we don't work in, in Ireland at present, but uh, it's something we could do in the future. Okay, and uh, what makes your company different to other companies that, that offer similar services? Yeah, we've, we've got a level of independence, um, so we are afforded, if you like, the luxury of taking on sites that we believe in, uh, and, and thereafter we pursue um, wholeheartedly. Um, so the, the success, if you like, is, is measured by our success rate at, at planning, be it uh, at the local level or, or indeed the, uh, the appeal level. And overall we've, we've got a success rate of 86%. Um, which is very high and, and well above industry standards. Um, but that's yeah, that's just through um, the, the nature of the company and, and how we apply ourselves to projects, really. Okay, and uh, where do you see your company headed in the next uh, three to five years? Do you have uh, any plans? Yeah, well, we're very pleased with um, the Scottish office, having opened the Scottish office uh, this year. We've uh, been delighted to work on a, a series of, of solar projects, field-mounted solar, over the last six months. Um, so hopefully they'll come to fruition, first consents will come through um, within the first quarter of next year. Uh, we've still got a lot of the single turbine uh, feed-in tariff projects, um, but, but it's great to also be uh, having awarded more wind farm projects. So we've now got, you know, for the near term, the next three years, um, wind farm AIAs that we'll be looking after uh, and more to be um, that have been awarded that will be progressing soon. So yeah, um, solar, single turbines and, and ultimately yeah, more wind farms. Okay. So at the moment are most of your projects uh, wind or solar or which? Yeah, we've got uh, about five wind farms for which we're doing the, the environmental impact assessments and they're spread from uh, right down the southwest uh, in Cornwall all the way up into Scotland. Uh, we've got a spread of, of single turbines across the country uh, and then a series of, of solar farms and they're concentrated in the east, uh, south and east. Yeah. Okay, and uh, lastly, what was your motivation for attending the event today? Yeah, um, we, we choose to attend this conference uh, annually, uh, really as an extension, as an extension of our involvement with New UK. So, um, I sit on the onshore strategy group, um, either myself or my directors attends that. Um, we've also got um, uh, one director on the noise strategy group. Uh, she's currently in, in, the, in the noise talk at present. So um, we've been involved with um, UB UK for the lifespan of this company. Um, and then our members are members before in their various other guises. Great, thank yeah. you very much. Thank you, yeah.